Well, it's a success. We've got the tank pressure, tool pressure, and tire pressure. There's only one problem. The regulator's leaking again here. It's an old problem. There's a plastic washer in there. I presume it's nylon. I forget what it is, but it was cracked before and I repaired it. So we probably need to replace that and then all the leaks should go away. But the tank's fully charged right now, so I don't want to mess with it. That'd be a bad idea. But we got a five foot hose on there. So we're all set. The next thing I'd like to do is have a little tray for all the little bits and pieces to go in. Either a quick disconnect thing, and then you just pop the quick disconnect to, to get your tool or, or just a little bucket. A little bucket would be nice. But, um, yeah, I like it. It's probably not the right way to do it because it's all off the same line. Probably better to have one trunk feed the different pressures, but this was what I thought. Probably not a good idea to do what I thought. Probably, probably better to do a real proper manifold, but this is what I did. Do it differently and do it the way you want to do it. I'm not going to criticize you. It's your thing. But um, I think it's going to work even though we've got a leak. Yeah, it's a little finicky. That's probably why you want to have it on a line. Drop the forty five too bad. Of course, it's a bus too, so it's not going to drop the forty five. It's kind of steampunky, if that's what you're into. I could care less about steampunk, but um, I definitely think it's cool. Definitely a NASA job. NASA the hell out of that one. Seems like my tank regulator has stopped leaking. So maybe it's pressure sensitive. Anyway, we'll have to fix it. So there'll be more to do and more hose management stuff and a tool tray. So we'll see how that goes. Thanks for watching.